heroin. Mm -hmm. There's something in the hen house. So what? Erwin! There's a fox out there! Well, it's not in the bed, so why worry about it, eh? No, and our luck will have no ends left by then. All right. Oh, damn it. Let's just see if you're all there then. Two, four, six, eight. Oh. Last night, someone pricked every single egg in the hen house, sucked or blew them out or something. Could have been a fox. Well, a fox would far sooner have made off with my hens, hmm? <laughs> Or martins, perhaps. Mm -mm. Foxes, martins, cats, they'd break the eggs open and then lick them out. They couldn't make such very fine holes with their teeth. No, no. I rather think it's just a really stupid children's prank, Mrs Barnack. Anton. Ow! What do you think I am? I don't even like eggs. May I see that again? Of course. <laughs> Remarkable. Well, that's incredible. Yeah, that's what I think. You really had nothing to do with this, Anton? Typical adults. Whenever they need someone to blame, it's always the children. Here. Tell me, has anybody here got the faintest idea? What this is here, uh, eh? Uh, that is... Uh, I can't imagine. Yeah, yesterday evening, someone was creeping round here in the yard, they were. I was right behind him. Uh, he got way back there by the pigs, see? Uh, looked like a young boy, he did, and he, and he left this stinking rag hanging on the fence, he did. You sure you weren't there? Why do I get blamed for everything? <laughs> Looks a bit like a vampire's cape, doesn't it? Actually, the cape does belong to a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> and you frightened Herman with that thing? <laughs> so I'm taking the blame again. Oh, but you did. The ladder was lying right in front of the house, and you waved this cape right in front of his window so that Herman nearly fainted from the shock. Sounds bad, but I've done nothing wrong. Oh, Anton, don't be so obstinate. If you've been up to mischief, you'll have to own up. No one listens to anything I'm saying. I keep telling you I've done nothing wrong. Yes. As you say, son. I can throw this stinking rag away, then. No! All right, I'll tell you the truth. The cape belongs to him. I mean, the little vampire. He lost it, you see. He bit the eggs, and then he scared Herman to prove that there really are vampires. He succeeded in that, all right. Now I've heard everything. You apologise now, Anton. Do you hear me? What a terrible trip! Nah! My throat hurts, so I'm going to bed. Anton! Oh, this is also dreadfully embarrassing. Oh, just leave him. Uh, he's just going through a difficult phase. He's a boy filled with fantasies, your mm. Anton. <sighs> well, perhaps I can find a use for this thing. What for, then? Oh, well, the scarecrow, eh? Do you hurt anywhere? Hmm. 
39.2. Well, young man, you've really caught it. I'll ask Mrs. Herring to call a doctor. Hmm. And now, let's get you wrapped up. Hmm? Now come here. Anton, it would make me very happy if you would apologize to the Herrings. Then the matter would be over with once and for all. Apologize? What for then? I haven't done any of those things. It's the truth. Word of honor? Yeah, I promise. So who was it then? The little vampire. Mrs. Barnack, allow me, Stoberman, general practitioner and philatelist. Delighted. He's there. Ah, well, young man, not well, eh? Yes, right. <laughs> Everything I need for sick children like you. Now let's have that little mouth wide open. I suppose he caught the cold when he went swimming yesterday. The where and how isn't important. It's just a matter of rooting the little beasties out. Get what out? Mm. The bacteria or virus is in your throat. Now let's have a big ah. 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 You've called yourself a nasty inflammation there. <laughs> you need to stay in bed for a while. Yes, of course, Doctor. One, three times a day. We'll soon have you running around again, won't we? Mm-hmm. Thank you. What have you got those steaks in your bag for? Out here in the country, vampires. You're saying that you really hunt vampires and kill them? Oh, yes, they're vicious. If I find one, I'll see he sleeps and never wakes, yes. <laughs> it's been a pleasure, Mrs Barney. Mm -hmm. Charming doctor. He's got a wonderful way with patients, don't you think? Of course. Naturally. Mr. Stuberman, pardon me, can you spare me a moment, please? And of course, for you always. Oh, thank you. Please do come in. Please. Thank you. Now, please, do sit down. Thank you so much. Do you like a glass of cucumber juice? Oh, well, I'll be fine. Here. Cheers. Hope you like it. <laughs> Mr. Stuberman, I have something to show you. <laughs> ah. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Unusual. Did I say unusual? What is it then? Not a fox. Not a martin, not a cat, certainly not a dog, not a human. Yes, I know that too, but the owls didn't get there by themselves, did they? Shut windows and doors. Don't leave the house at night anymore. Warn your children to secure all the stables. Oh, why's that? I fear the very worst. Oh, goodness, what is it? Patience. 
May I take this evidence with me for a few hours, madam? Thank you. Call me straight away if you see anything suspicious, and Mrs. Herring, just stay calm. There's no need for panic. This is over. I'm going to bite your tongue on. I've had it with this holiday. I need to fly somewhere. Anton Barnack. Where are you, Anton? The Cape, Anton Barnack. <laughs> Toothache. Go on, buzz off. You're horrid. Children, children, please. I'm still not feeling well. Mum, I'm flying to the country now. Uh, 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 oh, oh, please, oh, oh, please. But you will be back before it's light. Promise. Promise. Oh, Mum, she's got such dreadful love sickness. Send greetings to Anton from dear Uncle Lumpy. Perhaps he'll be overcome with a longing for his thin little neck. <laughs> <laughs> and her love's Anton, her darling is Anton. We're longing to meet him. I'm hoping to meet him. Oh, yeah. You're too perfect reasons to get out of here, you drip drop. Anna, please watch your language. Tell Rudiger he must take care. They're a terrible vampire hunters. Both teeth. Sharp at that. Phenomenal. Clearly vampire. Yes, Brutus. Work tonight. Hector, look after the house, yeah? Come on, Brutus. straight back to bed with you, or you might end up catching the rest. I'm feeling better. A lung infection. Up we go. Let's get you tucked in, hmm? Come on. Mothers.
Oh, my dear Rudika. My lovely brother. You just can't rely on humans. I must have been waiting ages. By the time Anton does get here, I'm going to be thinner than a piece of lettuce. Just one crumpled up, sad looking wreck of a vampire. He doesn't want human company, cause he is a vampire von Slutterstein! The finest place in the whole wide world is for me the open field. And I wonder joyfully, and I wonder joyfully, the world for me is one large park and I like to wander in the dark and I wonder Joyfully, and I wonder joyfully. Wait. Uh -huh. <laughs> Who do I have here then? I get the impression, I almost fear. Uh, <laughs> yes, I believe, if I'm not wrong, that we've discovered a lady vampire, eh, Brutus? What makes you say that, then? Firstly, because you're so pale, because you stink of mould, and thirdly, because my dog Brutus barked. Eh, hey, Brutus? Yes, Brutus. He's a dangerous but extremely highly trained vampire hunting dog. He only barks at sweet little vampires. Haven't vampires got those funny pointed front teeth, though? Naturally. But I haven't. And your dog, Brutus, he really likes me too. Yeah. What's your name, then? Anna. Is that so? Anna what? Sh Stone. Where are you from? Far away. This is beginning to sound familiar. And what were you doing out here so late, eh? I'm looking for my friend. And you're crying because you can't find him. What's your friend's name, eh? Uh, uh, Anton Barnard. So, how is our little chicken feeling? B b better You see? I've even bought you a little nurse. Get over there. Where's Rudika? <gasps> so then, let's see. Open mouth, tongue out. And... Oh. Yes, very oh. good. Uh, Yes, very good, yes. And the chest. And out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Are you concentrating? Breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, and in, and out. Breathe in, 
and breathe out and breathe in and breathe out very good you do know how dangerous it is to be out and about late at night around here there are vampires I thought vampires didn't exist but of course there are vampires I've even seen one you do look so very pale, my little one. Should I examine you, perhaps? No! I'm perfectly well. I just don't get out in the air very much. Well, try to get out more. It'll do you good. I'm sure it will. What proof have you found? Eggs. Eggs pricked by long, sharp teeth and then sucked dry. Never! Vampires don't eat eggs ever. They drink blood. Uh-uh. When they're very hungry, they sometimes eat an egg. And where does this knowledge come from? Uh, I, I heard it somewhere. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. What's out there? <gasps> Brutus! I'm here! I'm coming! <laughs> it has to be Rudiger out there! <laughs> the cave! Under the bed! Stop barking, you stupid dog! Go on! Shoo! Shut up, or someone will see me! Shut up! Won't you go away? I'll bite you in a minute! Ah! What are you doing up there? Come down at once! You won't find anything up there! I'm not coming down just to be your stupid dog's dinner! If you're not a v v v vampire, you'll come down from there. V v v v vampire? What is that? Stop this nonsense! Come down now! Come on! Call off your mouth! Or I'll call off! Come here! If that was a vampire, he'd fly away, you silly man! That must be a vampire! Brutus only barks like that when he's face to face with a dear little bloodsucker! What? That's my friend Rudiger! From Tyrol! <laughs> That's my brother. You need a new dog. That one doesn't know anything. Brutus, you numbskull. <laughs> no, no, Brutus is quite right. I've just seen the grossest monster heading towards the stables. Just? What, just now? Yeah, he was very pale and he looked mental. Ten feet tall, with front teeth so long they were tucked into his trousers. It's true, honest, mister. Oh, thank you. Brutus. Oh, I've wronged you. Don't think badly of me. Yeah. Uh, come quickly. To the stables. Yes. There. there. Yes. Quick thinking or what, eh? Let's get out of here. Oh, I'm so happy that nothing's happened to you. I saw your cape as a bird scare on a wooden cross and I thought it was you. Cross? Now you tell me. At least you know where the cape is. We'll never get it back. We can't go near a wooden cross. Anton can. It's pretty simple when you look at it, Anton Barnack. It's your cape. You get it. Mine? How come it's mine? Mine's here. Thank you, Anton, my friend. You won't need this in bed. And if you fancy flying around a bit, go and get the one on the bird scarer. It's all perfectly logical, isn't it? Very good. You better go get some food. Then I've got to go to bed. Tomorrow, then. Get better soon, Anton. Night, you old snorbag, and many happy flea bites. Tomorrow? Tomorrow I'm going to bite Stoberman on the nose and Brutus on the ears. I promise you. Sleep well. Good night. Not 
even ten vampire hunters could get me to go back to the crypt while that idiot George is there. He's always pushing and shoving, and he's got such a big mouth, he's forever having a dig at me and my love for Anton. Oh, what am I going to do, Rudiger? I can't stand it. OK, you might as well stay here, then. <sighs> Thank you. Where's your coffin? In the grave. I can't just spirit it here. So where are you going to sleep, then? With you, here in your coffin. What? Be real? Are you crazy? Where's the problem? There's creepy crawlies everywhere around here. And on top of that, I have to sleep like a sardine. <laughs> oh, shush. I'm sure it'll be quite cosy. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Come on, then. There's no point hanging around here anymore. Come on, Anna.